Okay, this is a short video that you don't have to skip through how to make a gun case out of old power tool cases. Um, uh, the custom fit for your gun. It's right in there. You put your babies in there so they don't get hurt. And I'm going to make your box. Uh, ammo boxes in here also. Very important that you get some of this uh, gel, much resistant. Um, you can put that, you can get that from Walmart. Um, I don't know what department is in there, but it has something to do with hanging in your clothes closet. And you can put them in there. And so all you need is scissors, Sharpie, and some carpet padding. And a hot glue gun. And it's going to take up almost about the short sticks, almost uh, 10 tubes, 10 sticks of uh, hot glue to do something like this. So you don't have to skip through. I made it short and sweet. Okay, so what you want to do, you take your box and you want to cut these guys out here, these compartments. They're going to be in a way. Some of them you might want to keep. To keep ammunition in if it's going to be in a wear or not but you can always decide that as, as through the video um, I got a Dremel here with a, a blade you can ride it on the bottom and cut all the way around like this cut all these out cut them out on the side cut the stuff out on the top also and it's a Dremel tool I don't, I don't know what other tool that you could use to, to cut flush with that but this will do the trick Okay, we got it all cut out now, top, bottom, it ain't got to be that perfect because you're going to have the padding on top, these are the pieces that came out of it. So what you're going to do now is take your, your carpet padding and take your box, flip it upside down and you're going to draw with your sharpie marks a lot all the way around and after you draw it you're going to need to cut in uh, a quarter inch from that line because you got to figure the, the thickness of this because your box out here and you're going to be cutting on the inside okay now we got to cut out see how it fits we have to do some adjustments and use this one for your pattern to cut more of them now what we're going to do is trace the gun with a sharpie all the way around it and that's what you're going to cut out but save this piece you're going to use it for another part okay I use the regular scissors to cut out these squares and for the gun part keep this you want to keep it one piece i'll show you later and i use this right here to uh cut out my gun it's gonna be a pain of a hand to use the scissors here okay i use the regular scissors to cut out these squares and for the gun part keep this you want to keep it one piece i'll show you later and I use this right here to uh, cut out my gun. It's going to be a pain of a hand to use the scissors here. Okay, now that you got your, your gun template cut out, you want to kind of place it. Some even space here and some even space there and a little bit of top. If you have a big space here, what we're going to do later is we're going to cut this out here. And so you can have some compartments to put your ammunition and or whatever you want to put else in there. So, and, but we're going to cut out so many layers to make your gun fit 
one thickness lower because we're going to take this one of these pieces and glue it at the top up here to where you close it it will go right on top of this hole here so save these save one piece at least for that project after you got the first top one cut out you're going to set it up on top of the rest of them and with your sharpie you go ahead and trace all that back to the next one so take that one set it on top and trace out that one and that'll be your pattern to go all the way down make sure you have this little the pen you got the ones with the little strings on it make sure it's on top it's a whole lot better to be on top more strong and rugged and your top one also make sure you cut out a, a nice big one that fits close to the edges all the way around the other ones below it might not matter too much but the top one could be more perfect okay now I got all my pieces cut out and I also cut out for my little compartment box to keep my ammunition so you're going to use hot glue gun to glue these glue that one pad in first you're going to do one at a time and then these are going to be my uh, compartment the compartment is also going to be kind of insulated too and you're going to be hot gluing each one in there you know and get all these straightened when you hot glue one stick it up in there and make sure you everybody's nice and straight with the with the with the next one and you're going to keep adding them one after the other and hot gluing it all around just hot glue it you know a little bit at a time when you lift it up stick it in there and you know follow it around make sure you get all these little pistols straight <clears throat> And then um, if you got it like that, you're going to do the top the same way. You're going to put the top in, glue each one like that. And your last one, this is your piece. It's going to be a flip-flop up here. So when you close it, it's going to set in here it's going to set in there when the when the top uh, when the top door is closed so okay after you got all these in um well as you've been gluing it but you want to stick your your glue gun in the crack of here and do all the little detail get them all straight and even all the way around and don't forget the glue uh, in the crack of your box around you see how you might be able to pull it so you might want to stick your glue gun in the crack of here so and make sure that you have one that the top is going to be higher than the lever than the in the cover that way it could be a good smash you you know if you need another one but uh, I'm gonna show you on the later when I put the gun in okay now you want to take your baby and set it in a spot here and you want to take your pieces that you've been saving these guys here and you want to set it on top right even with the gun perfect all the way around and you're gonna hot glue all the way around this and then you're going to close your lid and maybe lock it for about 30 seconds or whatever and that piece will normally is going to stick up here now after it's stuck up here you can take your hot glue gun and go in a crack all the way around uh, you also might want to think about is how big is your box of ammo, the size you use. So when you cut this out, 
You might want to use a cut a hole out for a ramrod stick or something, maybe whatever. If you want to cut out something later on, use one of these wallpaper knobs to go down. Might be a little bit hard to do, but um, you can still get it done. And another thing is too is if your gun don't fit level, you can take some of these pieces here and set them and tuck them back in so you got a nice level height or you know or if you want your gun barrel to be level you might have to put a little piece like I did because it's a little awkward position here so oh, my baby anyway um, so yeah pop it on top glue it close it and there you go. Got you a good, strong gun case. Uh, drop around. Some of these uh, gun cases have locks. But you can lock it. A little padlock also. And so any gun case you can use. I mean any uh, tool case you could use to do that. And this is one of my uh, other DeWalt case. It has a lock also. And it has, it holds my other Ruger here. It's good to put this uh, moisture absorbent solicit gel in there. Uh, you can get them at um, Walmart or whatever. And so I would advise to put that in there keep moisture sucking it out so I won't maybe rush your gun but you can see what I did I took that little piece of gun out here and there and that, how that fits in there like that and so all these power tool cases you can just about make a gun case out of it instead of just being wasted Um, if you use a Sawzall case, you could probably put maybe two or three guns in there and whatnot. So that's how you uh, make a gun case out of these old two power tool boxes. Um, you might know some people that's got them laying around because nobody uses them anymore besides that one time to take them out the store. And... You can make several gun cases out of it, custom fit to fit right your gun, right perfect. And it's pretty strong and durable. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the rest of my videos and send something in if you've got an idea. Give back.